Hi everybody, my name is Horse Red Gaming and today we're going to be playing at Time and Hearts. It's basically going to be a demo version of the game on Steam and uh, I am definitely excited to see exactly what we're going to get, get ourselves into. Um, I had no idea what exactly was going to be happening. Basically what you're going to see in this gameplay is everything particularly from scratch. Nothing edited, just pure gameplay. If you guys like that type of stuff then you enjoy watching those contests then make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more daily gameplays like this man i've been thinking of doing this for quite some time i used to do this back then when i was just starting with my channel and stuff and uh to get back into it now while using my pc is just absolutely just fun so ladies and gentlemen it's been a pleasure playing new video games for you guys man and i hope to see you guys in black ops 6 but i also hope to see you guys potentially in um at time and hearts um, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the gameplay and let's get started. Peace. Please. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chemonai City floods on the Icarus platform. A feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. They're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. With your Vovas box entree. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold Piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! You did it! Oh, thanks a million! Enjoy the celebration! Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. In order to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. Platform residents and facility guests. 
The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Gather in the town square to hear his address. Progress is breathtaking. No Step sky's the limit. Up. You no can become ocean is too deep now. With a thought device, comrades. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. Oh, I restrict. No thanks. I'm all set. and pay your respects to all the victims of war. Everyone here seems so happy and content, just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit, and I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. I still can't believe the stars can be so close. It's as if I could reach out and touch them with my hand. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's Poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition?
demon be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Yeah, not too late. And dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. The Neural Connector I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here.
Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades I just came from in one. every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? That's more like it. I see you finally begun your assignment, and it's been less than an hour. They are good. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the Condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies.
This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelame Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. The drove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? For your safety, what the? please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory eight. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now on. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit?
killing me. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me. Alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sechenov out. Details on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Help! Somebody help me! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? Get away from me! at. Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, ma'am. No ma sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? 
Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! No good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me! You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! Goddamn clusterfuck. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Right.
machines rose from... Yashes. May I give you some advice? I'm kinda busy right now. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. <clears throat> it wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not. Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Colts off some tea. I'll be with you in a second, okay? Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here.
Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist, but right now there's only one thing I- Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I going to do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP-generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. I can say, may God have mercy. Something's wrong. Oh, shit! Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps, 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 forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! <laughs> Shit! Avoid the beam! 